Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make glass. Uh, so in this tutorial we're going to need uh, 3ds Max. We're going to need Code Walker. We're going to need Y Type Maker. And we're going to need a glass texture. Which I'll uh, put down in the description. And they will all be in my Discord as well. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the glass. So uh, one thing we can do, if you already have an exterior, you can uh, snap it to it, like snap the box to make it fit the uh, frame you're going to use. Uh, but for this, we're just going to make a prop. So I'm just going to use a person as reference. And then uh, you can make it thinner, larger, whatnot. Okay, I'm going to center the pivot. I'm just going to center it. Oh. Okay. We're going to make an editable poly. You can't put a texture on something if it's not an editable poly. Okay, so next we're going to do the hierarchy. First thing you're going to want is a model. Next you're just going to want a collision. Okay, now let's put a texture on it. On the actual box. Make sure not to put a texture on the uh, colon compile, on the uh, models we just made. Okay, so first thing, we're going to open up our material editor. Give us a V material. Change the default to glass. Now, these two, one of them is called shoot through, and one of them, the other one's called bulletproof. So it's shoot through. It's what it says. You could shoot through it. Bulletproof is the bolts. The bolts don't go through the glass. I like to use shoot through because that's just me. And we're just gonna apply. Editor. We go to options. Then on shader, we're going to choose glass. And then we're going to do PV underscore ENV. Next, we're going to go to diffuse texture. I'm going to embed it, but you can always use a YTD. And I already have a glass texture. So next, I have settings I use for my glass. That have, that give it like a little bit of reflective on it. Uh, so it's uh, gonna be we got three settings that we're gonna change: the specular fall off, the specular Fresnel, and the specular intensity. Uh, now. Uh, I've not really tested out different values. This is just what I use because I copied it from a, another piece of glass that has a little bit of reflective to it. So 320. And you can always mess around with these if you want more or less. I still have to do some research on what each property does. 0.8. The intensity is 0.25. Okay. We have our glass. If you want to turn on enable transparency, it's there. I like to just keep it off. And now we have it. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is gonna since we have our now we have our two models, we're gonna put the collision into the model and make sure at the bottom right you have sort by hierarchy okay and then we're going to delete the reference rename the box I'm just gonna call it auto underscore glass sort of tutorial you can name it whatever you want copy the name 
rename everything in the hierarchy to that. So this will I just like to change the LOD. If you want to do levels of LOD distance, like if you want to make it an LOD of this, like a lower quality version, which you really don't need it for a piece of glass, but for anything, uh, you change these values for how far away you could see it before it disappears. So next thing we do is gonna clone this. Clone. It's a copy. Don't do an instance. Now we're gonna put one of them in the collision. One of them in the model. So this one's the model one. Put a mesh on it. Model mesh. And then next we're going to put a collision mesh on it. O2. Map animal. Map cover. Map dynamic. Map vehicle. And map weapon. Okay. You don't really have to touch this. Since we have the flag uses children flags. And this is the child of this okay so now we're all ready for export I already made a folder for this no we didn't I uh, did right here okay let's make a new folder call it that export oh, another thing on the model we'll do the vertex color so on this website for this guy who did a uh, who did a bit of documentation on mapping if you go to glass for MLOs he tells you that the best vertex color would be yellow and I do find that that's a pretty good vertex color so we'll do that. You just work on it. Put a yellow. Or you can copy it from another piece of glass. That's just what I do. All this stuff can be changed. Or you can just change it to what you want it to be. This is just a basic tutorial. So we have a hierarchy all in place. And it's exported. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our folder. Rust tutorial. Open up our Y-type creator. Link will be in the description. And then we're going to make a new Y-type. So we're going to go to ODR browser. We're going to open it. going to go to open again. And then we're going to do where our export was. Open up the ODR, calculate the BBs, import them. Okay, so now we have embedded collisions. We're not using an external uh, texture dictionary. If we didn't embed our textures, we would be using an external. We put the name of that there. Next, we're just going to put the flag 32 on it. And that's all. We're custom name. Call it uh, under auto underscore glass tutorial. Hit OK and create it so now it should be in this folder right here next we're going to open up open IV now you really don't need a DLC pack for anything for code walker but I just like to have one yeah cuz you anyway have to import all your ODRs in don't mind this, just a bunch of stuff. So we have our Y type in here. And now we're going to throw the ODR in here. Okay, let's check it out. There's our glass. Beautiful. And then we have our Y type. Oh, amazing. And then now we're going to throw all both of those files into our resource. I like to just do this. You can always put it in another folder. I'm going to make a quick resource. 
stream. Throw these in the stream. Uh, I'm going to copy a FX manifest into here. That's what your ma FX manifest should look like. Or it's just whatever I use. And you can close open IV. You can close this. You can close, you can save this. I'm not going to save it. And now we're going to open up Code Walker. Uh, in this step, we're going to be making a Y map to place it. If we weren't going to be making a Y map, we would add the uh, the archetype to our Y type for the uh, for where, for your interior. Okay, so now we're going to find a glass. Open up both files. And then we're going to find a place to put it. I'm just going to put it in a spot where I don't remember where it is. I'll put it right here. It's going to make it. I'm going to go to this. Go to the new Y map. Go rename it. Glass underscore tutorial. We're going to make a Y map, new entity. You can open this up if you forgot the name. Tutorial. Okay, we're just gonna throw it like right here. Calculate the extents of the manifest. Save one. Save this. And you don't want to save it the project so next thing we're gonna do i'm gonna open up my test server we're gonna test it out okay okay let's load the server Okay. We are loaded. Now we're just gonna no clip. No clip to where we put our glass. Should be right here. You can see it. Look, you can see in the sunlight. It's a little hard to see because it is glass and we can shoot through it you can see the bullet holes going through it I think we have to re-import and export the collision because it seems like it's not working. That's weird. Let me see. Never had that happen. I think it's just a simple problem with the import and export. So let's just check it. Uh, let's find the glass.
Okay. Let's do this real quick. Sometimes when collisions don't work or they don't, for some reason, don't load, you might just have to re import and re export them in 3ds max just a real quick process doesn't take long go check the hooker. I didn't map dynamic okay that's why I forgot to hit one of the check boxes so that's why it didn't work okay map animal cover map dynamic vehicle map weapon Okay, let's re-export it real quick. I made a small mistake. It all happens. And then, you know what we can do? We will increase some of the settings to make it a little bit more reflective. Okay, so we'll, we'll increase the fall off. To about 380. The Fresnel a little bit more. We'll leave it at actually point eight. Intensity we can definitely increase. Okay. Now we can export it. Let's make a quick one. Port three. Get exported. Pull it in real quick. Pull straight back into OpenIV. Put it back into our stream folder and test it out. Just doing this on my other monitor, putting it back in the stream folder. Okay, that's it. Now it should work. Small mistake I made. It happens to the best of us. Okay, let's load in. Last time. Okay, still alone. Okay, uh, one no clip there. Right over the hills. Okay, so now you see the glass has a little bit of reflective on it. You can see. It's a little bit more reflective. And we have collision on it. And you can shoot through it probably still. Okay. It's a little bit more reflective. You can always increase those values even more. But that's actually pretty good. And it has like a little tint to it. Yeah, but yeah, you can see it's a little reflective on it. So uh, that's it for the tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord. I'll be also be answering comments. That'll be the main place. Everything you need is going to be in the description. The texture, all the programs you're going to need. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, feel free to check out my latest release. It's on my YouTube channel. That's funny. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it's how you make glass. So, yeah. Uh, 
my next tutorial is probably I don't know you guys can always suggest them in my discord it's mainly where I'm gonna be looking that's about it see you